What's up YouTube, welcome back to the On The Gas Show And we are back with another video And before we get started guys, make sure you subscribe to the channel Make sure you like, subscribe and drop a comment down below Let us know what you think about the video Because we're like at 252,000 subscribers already Frank Yeah, something like that, we hit about 250,000 about two weeks ago Which, our goal right now is 300 And I think by the end of the year, we might get to 300 So, yeah, make sure to subscribe, drop a comment and a like Or if you don't like the video, make sure to unsubscribe Because we don't want the negativity around here and before we get started with this vlog, I want to show you guys the new trailer that we just got. Normally, we wouldn't do a video on a trailer, you know what I mean? But we're going to make a video because this one was really, really expensive. The reason it was really expensive is because it has airbags. And I've been getting tagged on a lot of posts and a lot of videos that we should get a trailer with airbags. And we finally did. Usually, you have to order these, but we found a spot in Pittsburgh, Texas. They had uh, two in stock, so we sent out Perrillo to get it. And here it is, guys. 24-footer. Nice air ride and a winch because we needed a winch, right? Everybody comments all the time. You guys have all this shit and y'all don't have a winch. So yeah. we finally got one. I needed a winch on a trailer and instead of buying a winch for the trailer, I just bought a trailer with a winch. Which is right there. Oh, very expensive trailer. <laughs> yeah, very, very expensive. Y'all check this out, guys. It has all the buttons in here. The cool thing about this one is this one has... So my boy Alex doesn't work too hard. Or tiny. Or tiny. So that's that. This trailer has air ride. And you can see the gauges here and everything. So it comes with two batteries, a compressor, the hydraulic here, bunch of remotes everywhere. It comes with a nice spare tire. Lights, look this nice switch right here. Turn on the switch, got the lights. And the coolest part about this one there has airbags, look. And that's it. You don't need no ramps or nothing. It's kind of like a tilt trailer, but it's not 24 footer, 2023. So now we can actually put a real low truck or a real low car in here. If that doesn't work, we can use the winch. And we actually have a remote for the winch as well. It has a nice uh, guard for the rocks and stuff like that. And a cool compartment. Yeah, for the straps. You need to buy some new straps, bro. I do. New that's trailer, what, new straps. I know. Well, they make the ones that hook on this, right? Yeah, that's what we do. Those that go around the tire. Yeah. yeah. So we need to get that. So turn it on, go up. Sweet. It's all this new technology. So techy, so advanced. So. The price on this trailer was, we ended up paying like 24000 That's for tax and some other bullshit. So no, you can't borrow it. So yeah, you can't borrow this trailer. I got more trailers at the shop, but you cannot borrow this. Because every time I let somebody borrow one of my trailers, they fuck it up. Yeah, everything, no outs. Fenders get bent. I mean, they just don't know how to take care of it. Yeah. Well, they park it in shitty fucking areas with a bunch of mud and rocks yeah, and shit. Yeah, that's one thing I don't like. I don't like my trailers dirty or my vehicles dirty, but I understand. But anyways, it's a real nice trailer, real long as well, it's a 24 footer. So if you're looking for a trailer, this is that brand, Max D, and these are the guys that we bought it from out there in Pittsburgh. These trailers, we actually got to order them and they usually take about a month or two months to get. But this place here in Pittsburgh, Texas had two in stock and we ended up getting this one. They actually have a black one, they have a gray one and they have a red one with black. And the red one with black looks really nice. And actually my boy Jose at Speed Lab, he has one which is over there. But I didn't want a red one. We needed something mutual, you know what I mean? Yeah, and the red, I mean, you put a blue truck on there, it's not gonna look good. Yeah, but yeah. the black, you can put any color. So let's go check out my boy Jose's trailer, which is the same brand, but it's just in red. It has red and black. It's actually a little different. It's not the same. I mean, it's the same brand, but. I think his is a little older. That's why he's had his for a while. Yeah, yeah. And they weren't that expensive back then. I think he said he paid like. 13, 15,000 for it, probably like in 2020, 2021. Everything's more expensive now, so everything is going up. So, pretty much the same deal 24 footer, shield, winch, fenders, black, but it's red. So, if you're looking for a nice trailer, if you're in the market, this is probably one of the best trailers that we bought. And I recommend them. They're real smooth as well. Uh, we didn't even feel like we had a trailer, right? And then we got airbags on that truck and there are airbags on the trailer. So it, it works out. It makes it super smooth. Let's go talk to my boy Jose. Let's, hopefully the truck is ready because we do got to drop it off at Flacos right now so we can get it retuned and uh, maybe go testing one of these days. But I feel like we haven't tested in a long time. Well, it's been since Truck National since the last time we raced that truck and yeah. that was about less than a month ago. It sure was. It's okay. 
Hey, hey, we're almost there. What's up, what's up, homie? What's up, homie? What's up, what's up? Yeah. Alright guys, so my boy Jose is pretty much done But whatever he had to do I know Flaco had requested some stuff mm -hmm. Which was this right here So what is this, Jose? Explain to us a little bit better What does this do? So this is a 321 bellow Basically what it does is It allows you to have a little bit of flex So even though everything is obviously solid uh, Solid motor mounts and everything else This allows whenever you're going actually down the track And everything, you know People seen videos and everything Where everything is glowing hot red, right? Yes So when it's doing that It's actually moving around It's flexing It's flexing, yeah So okay. this kind of helps take off some of the stress that's why a lot of people be noticed you know, they'll have stress cracks or something will crack or a waste i've crack seen off where they it. crack off yeah. yeah so you know we put these in there you know just to make sure that that doesn't happen that doesn't happen you know? yeah. um and at good. first we had it right at first we on had it first at first 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 got the truck done we had these on there um and then obviously there was a special request to take them back off yeah um, to make it all solid and then like i said we went back to that obviously because we ended up moving everything forward forward yes uh to meet up basically putting back the small turbos. the smaller turbos yes but so now to the to the to the turbos <laughs> So, as you can see guys, we actually had these originally. These turbos were already in the truck and it was running perfectly fine. We were advised to get bigger turbos, which are right here. And these are bad motherfuckers, bro. Yeah, they're bad. Those are badass turbos. Those are badass, sure. yeah, yeah. But the truck was not happy with those turbos. So, it was trying to boost up. It was trying to make some power. And then as soon as it starts spinning, they go crazy. And now yeah. we can't even control it, right? Yeah. Well, it's not that you can't control it, but it was harder to manage. These original turbos that we had on the truck, these were working perfectly fine. And there were uh, more manageable than the big turbos. So we decided to go back to square one and put the smaller turbos back on. And uh, we did add a bigger fuel pump, which we needed more fuel. So hopefully, now it can run a little faster i mean it looks still looks good right it looks like nothing was ever changed honestly to yeah. the naked eye you to gotta the, know what you were looking at before to the naked eye yes and we still got the x we got this new stuff we use this right yeah yeah we modified basically when i modified everything for the bigger turbos i didn't want to redo the whole thing because yeah. you know before the downpipe used to come over here and yeah. everything else so i like this look and at the same time too it serves its purpose because you don't have fuel splash in your your windshield, windshield and, yeah. and everything else so i wanted to integrate everything back the way it was with the bigger turbos Yes. but just utilizing the smaller turbo yes so i think you've already ran really good with these yeah um not saying that you didn't run good with those it's just you know now well, well we always run faster with, with these turbos i got you well and that's the thing you know we're, we're talking back and forth about it uh, about being efficient right yes being, um, these smaller turbos are happier what you guys are trying to target yes versus yes. what the bigger ones were yeah. you know what i mean so it, it, we're pretty much trying them out and they are good turbos they are just too big for the engine that we got right now. So we still had the old turbo, so I brought it back here with my Jose. And I wanna thank him just because he got a lot of work going on right now. It's Texas 2K weekend, and he's wrapping a trailer right here outside. You got the rap guy outside doing the trailer. Picture works, what, what are you doing, bro? I mean, you do, you got a lot of shit going on right now. Yeah, so. Texas 2K weekend, and then you got other events out of town. So yeah, so I just got back from uh, Coda. Uh, Circuit okay. of Americas, you know, I partnered up with Vibrant to do a few um, basically on, I guess, on track assistance for okay. anybody who breaks down, anything like uh, that, anything needs to get welded. Same thing we're going to be offering for Texas 2K. So, you know, we're actually going to make a post tonight about it. Vibrant's going to make a big post. I think Peter at Texas 2K is going to make a big announcement about it. Okay. You know, so people, anybody who breaks at the track, if they're looking for a fabricator or whatever, we'll be on site. Um, so, moving on up. Uh, just, you know, we're just trying to help everybody out, you know, like, and, there's Mexicans, always something Mexicans that moving on up <laughs> because this is nothing but white people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, majority, you can say that. majority yeah. is white people. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Not that we Mexicans can't do it, but it's no. badass that my boy is actually partner up with Vibrant, and which is a big company. We got Vibrant stuff on here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, the, the bellows yeah. are Vibrant. Yeah. I mean, all the materials Vibrant. I mean, yeah. all the you know the clamps. I mean, you got all this. You know, so we're pretty much sponsored by Vibrant as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> but we are going to be taking the truck now to Flaco, and hopefully uh, we're going to be doing a tune, put on the dyno, and then we're going to be testing tomorrow or one of these days and see and hopefully everything works right uh, definitely will work yeah i mean if it was working before and now with the, all the upgrades that we did it should definitely be faster than when we had it and uh like i said once again i want to thank my boy jose for letting us bring the truck even though he's real busy with everything else the texas 2k stuff you said you were going out of town oh to be with the guys right yeah to yeah, be yeah. With vibrant and stuff yeah, to like be that with vibrant over there at the circuit of america and, and as stuff. You so that was that last weekend and then like i said as soon as we got back there was two guys from Konya yeah. uh with their supers and stuff so that was that like i said that finished up at four in the morning and i jumped on this and you know got like a few hours of sleep and then That's back at up, it bro. it's so. gonna pay it's gonna pay at the end of the day yeah i mean it, hopefully yeah no, it, not, will. it will it will yeah check out the shop it's full i got nothing but monsters here bunch of good stuff bunch of quality stuff 
So if you're looking for a badass turbo kit, you gotta hit up my boy. You gotta set up an appointment. You just can't pull up like us. You know, you gotta <laughs> set up an appointment and he can get you straight. This guy is the turbo guru guy. You also do exotics? Yeah. yeah pretty yeah, much do everything. Yeah. Anything that has to do with piping? Anything that has to do with fabrication. Fabrication. We're in it. Yep. Yes. Yep. Imports. Imports, uh, domestic. Uh, I mean, exotics. I mean, you name it, diesels, whatever. Golpe. Yeah. Well, there you go, guys. We're gonna be loading this truck up and head to Flaco. So let's roll because it's getting late. Like a new sound, but it's still. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Yeah, it sounds good. No, no, you're good. Hold on. You, you're not gonna be able to get out. I got, I got a remote. Oh. Damn, see, I ain't, I ain't, my shit ain't that fancy. I never, I never put it on. What year's your trailer? 20, when was COVID? 21? 2020. 20, yeah, or 2021. Oh, you only have a single? Yeah, mine only has a single. Fucking with this remote. She says, we hooked up to a trailer, right, Frank? This dude's like a little kid, bro, hey, with a new toy. Like he had it around his neck earlier. Yeah. With mufflers, with exhaust and treaders like this, bro, shit. Now check this out. Anything from a Volpe Rio. Bottom of a new trailer. Pero cuando está bien oscuro, no me luzan, o sea, en la noche luzan sí, chingos. Sí. Está con madre. Y no. So. Ya, yeah, pero está, está con madre. Y la mía también tiene. Oh, ok. Yeah, sí, ok. Y lo tienes todo usado para allá, para que no tengan dile. Sí. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. So, la tuya es que tiene una barra acá arriba también. Sí, sí, sí. So, vamos a poner así en el diagonal igual y que no te apunte a ti porque te encandila sí, bien. Te encandila, gacho. sí, sí. So. Yeah. And I'll just probably do like the very last button. Me parece el, que ya están todos taken. En el. Oh, no. 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 Porque uh, tiene los cuartos y lo tiene las luces. Si todos están taken, I'll just put one on the side or something. Sí. Pero haz cuenta, it'll just... Para que no tengas que buscarlo en medio, sí. that way it's either the very last one, it's easy to get to. Ok. But, la luz con madre. No, es como cuando te estás haciendo abrochando, prende el foco y... Sí, sí, sí mira no mejor, me sí, 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 sí. No, no, yo, yo uso el teléfono, luego me pongo el teléfono aquí en las piernas. <laughs> ¿Qué prendió ahí? Headlights. ¿Nada? Cuarto. Nada está pendiente nada ahí? No Ok, entonces es el último. Ok, ese mero. Pero va a ir easy. That's why I seen it, que era el último, number 8. Oh, okay. No tiene nada. Oh, ok, ok, ok. There's three of these. Put it inside. Because I can't see shit. Hold on. Oh, 
It's crazy how small that is and it lights. Boom, boom, boom. It'll light this and it won't be on my face. We're gonna have to move this air freshener. Like weed in this motherfucker, dog. <laughs> oh, it sure does. Now <laughs> leveling the truck. Okay. It gives me like that funk. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of funk in here. It's a little you know what I'm saying? Hey, have I shown you this remote, dog? Let me look at what it does. <laughs> Damn. You wearing that the whole day? The whole day, dog. Like a child. All right, I'm gonna pick it up just a little bit. I show like 10 different people, bro. <laughs> everybody there, black girl. When you pay 24000 for a trailer, bro, you gotta, you, you gotta, you gotta make it known. Yeah. yeah. Now, as soon as we put up to Flacco, Morris, he was like, he seen it. He was like, I know what it is. What you been doing all day besides nothing? All right, guys, so as you know, Frank likes to do a little bit of golf. Actually. Don't hurt yourself. Do these come in like in different sizes or all like in, so let's just say I'm a little taller than you and you, you know what I mean? That would have to be custom. Like NBA players that play golf or football players, they have a longer- This is a little short for me. A longer shaft. No, that's normal. That's or just, or that's, I, have, I have to look like this. No. I, have to, I have to bend like this? A little bit, a little bit. No, 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 no. you don't want to do that. Just your knees a little bit. There you go. It feels funny. Yeah, it's supposed to be. It's really uncomfortable. That's a pitching wedge. What'd you get? It looks small. Oh, no, it's an eight. So, yeah, the higher the number, the smaller they are. So, you buy this, this case and it comes with different sizes? Yeah, you buy a whole set. Oh, it's a... It's yeah. A... So, like, for example, this is the driver. This bitch is long. This is the one everybody plays with at Top Golf. Okay. Like, everyone grabs the driver, the big motherfucker. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See, that one's long. Yeah, this is long. Yeah, yeah. So, this is to... That, that's the one you this tee off one first. Works. Yeah, I guess. If yeah. you can hit it. If you can hit it right, yeah. But that's the one you drive off with, yeah. Oh, okay. If you hit good, 200, 300 yards. Okay. And who do you play? You play with Profe? With Profe, Barney. Whenever we go to events, you know, out of town, California, so Colorado. A little early. We, we leave a day earlier so we can go golfing. Yeah. I don't know, bro. This is just too much work. Besides that, you're out there in the sun. Yeah. Getting a, that's why your neck is all... Oh, it's all dark and it's so time consuming it takes three to four hours to complete a whole game your neck around. is darker than alex yeah, it's pretty fucking dark bro <laughs> this guy's high as fuck right now no Shit. it smells like it smells like a lot of weed it smells like, it smells a, like a pound, pound here, bro. it smells good it smells like the club those hot in the shop. <laughs> sure does smell like it. All right, guys, we're here back at the shop, and I wanted to show you guys. If you see it on the last video, I hope you guys enjoy Skinny Man back on the vlog. And we still need help choosing the wheels. Either we're gonna go, either we have three options. We got two polished wheels, and we got a black wheel. So we still need help with that. They're all good looking wheels. It's one of those times where they all look good, bro. And so we don't know what to actually choose. So comment down below, let us know one, two, or three. We're still undecisive for sure. Not the black wheel. What do you think? What do you think? Yeah, definitely not the black, even though it does look good, but on that truck. Yeah. Uh... Yes, yes. One, two, or three. Three. I thought I mean, <laughs> 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 Así te mira, wey, at the end of the day. I'm torn in between the retro one or the full throttle, which the full throttle, all the race cars run that front runner. Yeah. Not the, all of them. A lot of them. Most of them. Oh, some, no, of them. Some, some of them. Some of them. Some of them. And, and the retro has a lot of openings, so you can see the brake and the caliper. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of like a five, like a star, you know, five star wheel. So one or three, pretty much we're down to one and three. So let us know, because my boy Skinny Man actually needs to know as soon as possible, because once he mounts the spindles and the brakes, it's all like one piece. So uh, we'll be picking up that truck here pretty soon in the next week, so we need to know. But right now we are here with the giveaway, which is the Red SS Clone 6.0 all-wheel drive with nitrous. Not only does it have nitrous, but it has a badass SS interior and a badass sound system done by the other shop. So this is the final week. So you pretty much got tonight. If you if either you want to pause this video, get you some entries or you want to wait to the end of the video and go to the website and get you the entries so we pretty much got today which is wednesday by the time this video drops it's gonna be wednesday thursday friday saturday and then sunday will be the last day at 11 59 p.m central time so get your entries guys we got three items we got five options first option is the sticker by itself which is the on the gas red reflective and then 
Option two is the issues paper decal, which is reflective. And then we got the red reflective t-shirt. Those three together, 50 entries each. And then we got two bundles. You get you the on the gas red decal reflective with the shirt that is reflective. And that will give you 125 entries. You get 25 entries for free for purchasing those two items together. Now you gotta buy them in that link. We also got a combo pack sticker, which is the issues paper and the on the gas, both in reflective. That will also give you 125 entries, 25 entries for free. So go on the website guys right now and get your entries before it's too late. Who doesn't want to win this badass trip right here? It's pretty much ready to go. We actually fixed the throttle body issue. Correct. Right? Right now it's Cali weather. Yeah, it's nice and cool and yeah. breezy. Houston's so bipolar. Last week it was hot as fuck. Yeah. Today's fucking cold. So, as you can guys see, we got, well, the cold air intake, of course. We got electric fans and we can see the nitrous here and everything. It's pretty much ready to go. We were having issues because the throttle body that we did have, it wasn't, I think it was bad. Uh, we actually took it off another truck. Yeah. And whenever we got this nitrous plate that we got from nitrous outlet, it required a different type of throttle body, which was the one that we had on Little Yeezy. When you put the truck together, they didn't have a four bolt throttle body, so they put a spacer uh, and an adapter for the three bolt. Yeah. And we, we have a four bolt nitrous plate, so it wasn't gonna work with the three bolt. We had our well go with the four bolt. Whatever he said, we got it done right. <laughs> and we didn't have the correct parts when we bought the truck, but now it's correct. Yeah. Yes. yeah. So so now we got the throttle body that actually goes to this intake and the plate kit that actually goes in here. So 125 shot, 6.0, cam, all-wheel drive, transmission, and a converter. What does that mean, bro? Enough to fuck up Alex. Yes. Nah, yes. And that race is gonna happen probably tomorrow or the following day. I know it's Texas 2K weekend, so there's a bunch of cars hauling ass everywhere. And I, and I know Machete is out on me right now. Yeah, I don't know what Machete is doing out on me. He's he's probably the slowest car out there. Besides that, he doesn't want to race somebody. And if he does want to race somebody, he's going to be like, give me the move, give me a car, take off your nitrous, take off a turbo. Machete be saying some stuff like take that. Take your door off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He want to race me in Harley. He was like, disactivate one of the turbos. Like if we can actually do that. Like you could just unplug it and be yeah, like, okay, no, it's off. No, you can't do that well, let me hit this button that turns that turbo yeah, yeah don't do that machete if you're gonna go out there to the meets bro and i hope you're watching this video so everybody tag machete on instagram machete odg tell him to stop asking for stuff if you're gonna race just pull up and race what you got right oh my god he's been at the question right now bro he's at, he's at the top 10 meet he's at the top 10 meet with trucks on knows. the east side bro i guess there's a meet there yeah. right and there's texas 2k weekend so there's a bunch of meets all over houston and this is the final texas 2k here in Baytown, in Houston. So it's gonna go crazy, right? Everybody's gonna be street racing. After that, we have no more Texas 2K in Houston, right? Yeah, after that, it's over. They're probably gonna move it up to Texas Motorplex and Ennis. And also being TX2K, we just came from Speed Lab earlier. Jose invited us to take crawfish to TX2K at the Vibrant booth. Yes. Now we will not be running the truck because it was a last minute thing. And besides that, we're not registered to actually make a pass. It's a little bit more complicated. All these events, they actually do require a bunch of stuff. You know, us is more like pull up, we'll let you run, we'll let you make a pass, you know, woody woo. But now we got invited, so we don't have permission to run and we don't have a take card or whatever, but we are gonna be taking the truck there and it's gonna be parked. If you guys are in the Houston area for Tix 2K, it actually starts tomorrow, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. It's a four day event. It's, they got like road racing, they got dig, like the fastest Lambos are gonna be there, the fastest GTRs, Supras. I mean, mostly imports, right? Yeah, you name it, they have it. No, Corvettes, Pro Charge Corvettes, yeah. Vipers, Porsches, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the truck is not an exotic car, but I'll tell you what, it's worth like a exotic car, right? Yeah, I mean, Crawfish alone is a 200 plus thousand dollar truck. Yeah, so we'll have crawfish there so you guys check it out. Hopefully you guys can see it at the Byron booth. I have no idea where exactly we're gonna be at, where that booth is at, but once we're there, we'll make sure and drop a vlog. So whenever you guys, if you guys pull up on the weekend, you can swing by the booth, check out the truck. It's pretty cool because that truck's been everywhere. You know, it's been at the Hoonigans and PRI. It's been to a couple of no prep events. Uh, so if you wanna check out the truck, it'll be there. If not, it will be at the final shootout and it's gonna be running. It's gonna be hauling ass. 
at Final Shootout, which is April 1st. You do not want to miss out. It's an all-day event. We got burnouts. We got car show. We got racing. We got a little bit of everything. It's a party. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, if you ain't doing nothing, make sure to swing by, pull up. And then after the Final Shootout, we'll be heading out to Ennis with my boy, Donk Master, April 8th at Ennis, the big racetrack that they got Texas over there. Motorplex. Texas Motorplex will be there. We're supposed to be taking three trucks. Crawfish for sure. Maybe Brownie. Should be ready, right? It should be, hopefully. Yeah, no, it will be. Uh, the 420. Psych. Psych. <laughs> psych. No, 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 no. Either that, psych. either we might take the Holly truck, which is up there. If not, we'll probably take Johnny's truck. Oh, yeah. So we don't know exactly what we're racing, so we need to get some more information because yeah. Brownie may not be fast enough for those guys, but Johnny's truck gets down, Crawfish gets down, yeah. Crackhead gets down. Or Crackhead, yeah. Y'all stay tuned, and later on, before the event comes up, we will find out exactly what are we racing, who are we racing. We can decide what truck can we take. But here it is. Now that we got them right next to each other, you can actually see what I was talking about earlier with the bumper. Smooth, no uh, license plate bracket. You know what I'm saying? It matches that one. We painted the grill again just because it was a little faded and had a couple of chip rocks. So now it has uh, like a facelift. Now they do got the same style of hoods. Now this one's a lot lower, of course, because it's two-wheel drive truck. This is an all-wheel drive. Pretty much that's it. I know this one looks a little lighter because this truck does have a 2020 red. So if you go buy your 2020, 2019 and up, you ask for a red truck, this is the red. And this is the original red that this truck came with, which is the victory red so this is the victory red that is the 2020 red and that one's the on the gas red and you can find that paint at orion finishes you can actually buy one two three four five gallons and your truck can look like that but that's pretty much it guys i want to talk about the giveaway and pretty much we're ready for tomorrow are you ready i've been ready you been ready yeah have you made any test hits yeah i made a couple se gancho yeah pretty good good timing good timing what do you mean Nitrous. Oh, okay, okay. So you on, on the bunny now? Yeah. It's I'm not on the pedal. I don't want no excuses. Bottles are full. Both of them. Both of them. Really? Let me see. Okay, so we got the bottle ready. Big bottle too. Big bottle. I'm gonna have to check it out because this guy probably emptied it out. No. He's scheming, bro. He's cheating. Yeah. He's been at the shop here all day, so he might be doing some shady shit. We might have to pull this out tomorrow. Now you got an undershot. I don't think he's that smart. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure he's not that smart. Pretty we need to put some sharks on this hole because it's too soft. That's good, huh? No? See, I said bottom out. So we need to put some shocks. Before we race, we gotta put some shocks. We got some new control arms too. Yes. So new control arms, new bar joints. So this truck short, ride like new. Cause we did upgrade the suspension. We did lower it a little bit and we need to line it. So before I race period, I want to make sure the suspension is right. We did go like an inch lower, an inch and a half lower in the front. It doesn't sit that low. A lot of people like the little lean on it, but I think it looks great the way it sits right now. Pretty much even, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's pretty much even. The whole truck around is pretty much even. We haven't added no tint to the front window. Oh, yeah. Do you guys want tint in the front window or not? I think they do. They do. Now, before this truck leaves, we are going to put tint and we are going to do a nice buff and ceramic coat on the paint job because whenever this truck leaves i want it to leave 100 like every other giveaway that we do and we'll be going live sometime next week maybe wednesday maybe thursday we just want to send out all the shipment that you know everybody that participated we try to send all the shipment so go online right now and if you buy anything else it will go towards the 2020 Dormax diesel which we haven't picked up we'll probably pick it up by the end of the week so we need to hit up Kevin at Rampspec and see what's the details on that. But hopefully by the end of the week, we can pick up that truck and we can have that one ready. All right, guys. Well, that's pretty much it for today. Make sure to comment down below. Let us know what you think about the giveaway, about the stuff that we got going on. Make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Why? Because we'll be giving free entries to this giveaway starting tomorrow all the way to the giveaway ends. We're going to be choosing 20 lucky people in the comment section. You can get one free entry to the giveaway from here and on. My boy Perrillo is going to be choosing 20 people. So comment down below, let us know, but you got to make sure you're subscribed because Perrillo is going to be checking if you are subscribed to the channel. Besides that, we want to get into the 300 subscribers. We're almost there, 250. Yeah, we're a quarter away kind of, so 50,000 more. Yeah, yeah, hopefully we get to 300 by the end of the year, which I think we're doing pretty good because we literally just started the YouTube channel. So we're already at 250, that's a pretty good start. So comment down below and make sure you subscribe.